Um, one thing I did want to say, because I've heard people, uh, and this is this really, in my view, points to the the overwhelming power of the system of white supremacy. I have heard non-white people uh, say, you know, what are Neely Fuller Jr.'s qualifications to come out and make all these statements? I've heard people say that. I have heard um, non-white people uh, really uh, chastise and, and get very uh, rowdy and even discourteous, I would say, at times with uh, Dr. Welsing, uh, Mr. Fuller, other people, other non-white people who speak about racism, white supremacy. Uh, I've heard people say, you know, you should uh, perhaps uh, go teach uh, at the college level uh, or, you know, maybe maybe get a master's that would uh, aid you in getting respect to talk about racism. And I said, well, you know, I don't see I don't see evidence that that's true. Um, I see quite a few non-white people who uh, have doctors and PhDs and all this good stuff. And non-white people still don't really listen to listen to these people. They're still victims. Uh, they're still victims of racism, white supremacy. Um, and, and more importantly, uh, I have looked at a lot of the non-white people who are at the collegiate level as professors, uh, a lot of these people, you got to write books, you know, the college game, you got to write books to try to get that tenure. And uh, a lot of these folks do not seem to be well informed about racism, white supremacy. In fact, it tends to be uh, a lot of confusion uh, at that level. And there's a lot of contact with white people. A lot of that sexual intercourse stuff goes on at that level, but that's another discussion. Um, but yeah, the, the thing that I have noted more than anything is uh, confusion, rampant confusion. Uh, once you get into uh, the college and university system, uh, amongst non-white people, I want to be clear, amongst non-white people, I have, I have tended to see incredibly refined racists at the collegiate level, but amongst the non-white people, the confusion uh, tends to be pretty bad. And uh, the confusion. maximum sophisticated confusion.